What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 8 video. <clears throat> so today I'm going to be trying out this team versus uh, a good friend of mine on Discord named Brain. He's very good at Pokemon, but man, he, he, he really sucks at Among Us. So this is a personal match. Anyways, I'm trying out this Zamazenta and Lapras team. Uh, and yeah, he's going to be our opponent today. We're going to be doing a best of three. Let's go ahead and get into it. If you enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And comment down below right now, what legendary do you want me to build around next? The rental code for this team is in the description down below. Let's go ahead and do it. Send him a GLHF via DMs. Good luck. Have fun. And uh, yeah, let's just go with random music. I'm excited. This is my first Series 8 match on Cartridge. I have not been able to practice on Cartridge yet, so let's see how this goes. As we're facing the enemy, we're facing a... Uh, or no, we're facing Zacian, and I'm using Zamazenta. I'm so bad at remembering their, their names. I always mix them up. It looks like I can't safely intimidate 90% of the time because there is a Thunderous on the other side of the field. However, my Lapras lead doesn't look awful. It doesn't actually look awful. What I'm going to do here is actually lead off with Whimsicott Lapras. And I think I want Zamazenta in the back. It definitely looks really solid in this matchup. And I kind of really, really want to bring the Arcanine. Like, I know that it's a little bit risky with the Thunderous, but overall I think the risk versus reward, it's in favor of Arcanine. So yeah. And Zamazenta is such a cool Pokemon. It's just such a cool Pokemon overall because it's able to wall out so many things. It gets plus one on switch in. It has Snarl, but man, my team really does not like Thunderous. I am running Life Orb though, so what I could try to do is uh, Tailwind up and just knock it out immediately. There it is, okay. So I did note that I had the option to Tailwind up, but I feel like it's pretty obvious uh, that his play is probably going to be to fake out the Whimsicott here, right? I'd rather avoid that. I, I would much rather avoid that. The question is, like I said, Brain's a great VGC player. For all I know, he's going to go ahead and predict that and just parting shot on my Lapras while I try to predict him to fake out. Kind of a tough choice. I think I'm just going to... No, I'm not going to Tailwind. I'll go for the Protect. And I definitely want to Dynamax immediately. The sooner I get these screens up, the easier it is to beat this thing. And I am running a Life Orb set. As he Dynamaxes as well, I'm perfectly fine with that. Because I'm going to get some good damage off. And there's no way he one-shots me. Absolutely no way. Alright, let's see how this goes. Dynamax up. I should be able to Tailwind on the next turn, which is really important. But if he goes for a Fake Out and an Airstream into the Whimsicott, I am in a little bit of trouble. I just don't see him not going for a uh, for a Max Lightning into the Lapras here. Watch a Max Garden Parting Shot. I'd be upset. <laughs> I'd be big upset. There's my Protect. As it looks like he is going to parting shot. Ah, man. How did I know? How did I know? It's because when you play against good players, you have to think about these things. So I, I am going to get parting shot, unfortunately. At least that makes sense to me. As they snarl, okay. I guess that works too. Probably assault vest then. But I get good damage here. And I can tailwind up. Which will allow me to outpace that uh, incineroar. Oh, I just crit him. Okay, well, that works too. <laughs> that works too. We'll take those. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, well, that that's unfortunate. I am Life Orb, but, I mean, at minus one, there was no way I was one-shotting him. See, that's what happens. When you, when you say GLHF, I think you have to accept that you are wishing them luck. I don't believe in luck, but... There is such a thing as getting lucky, and I definitely just got lucky. If you catch my drift. So my screens are up, his Dynamax is gone. I definitely have to consider that, like, going forward, what just happened. I have to deeply consider what just happened. Um, it's safe to Intimidate now. 
So I think what I want to do is just get in the Arcanine for my Whimsicott. And I'll stay in, right? Like, I don't see much of a reason to switch out. I want damage on this thing more than anything, so I'll max Geyserization. I'm likely going to get um, Snarled or something, so... Like, I'm not going to deal too much damage, but any damage is, is a decent amount when you're facing down Zacian. Getting the Arcanine now that it's safe. Here's the Behemoth Blade, okay. Now that does a solid amount of damage since it doubled. And there's the U-turn, okay. Something I just realized, guys, um, is the original version of this team... Please forgive me, I'm going to fix it when I actually release the code. I haven't made the code public yet, so you'll see it in the, in the finished version, but I just realized something. My team isn't perfect. Uh, the Arcanine was originally a special attacker, and I ended up switching it to Jolly with Flare Blitz instead of Heat Wave. Um, something I didn't realize is, because I did that, I, I have to retrain it to move the 36 special attack into attack. <laughs> so that that is an issue with the Arcanine that I just realized is going to be annoying here. Uh, I definitely want to switch out the Arc here. I think what I'll do is I'll go into Whimsicott, and I'll get some damage off on the Urshifu. I am running Water Absorb instead of Shell Armor, so a Wicked Blow would be able to crit me, but I don't really mind too much. Um, I, I want Water Absorb because it makes it easier to switch in on things like... Uh, was it just... Oh, wow, okay, that worked out for me. It makes it easier to switch in on things like... Um, what's it called? Kyogre. Zacian ends up protecting. They're going to take a lot of damage here. They're going to take a lot of damage, because this is rain-boosted life orb. They're not going to get knocked out if they're assault vest, which is what I assume they are if they're running U-turn. But yeah, that is that is solid damage. I feel like Incineroar is going to see a lot of usage with... Um, it's going to see a lot of usage with... Um, what's it called? Assault vest, since Barry isn't as reliable anymore. I can Tailwind now, but it's better for me to protect. I don't mind losing the Lapras... I'll just go ahead and go for a... I think I should go for the Thunder. It's 100% accurate. I just don't feel like missing, and I think Life Orb Thunder from this range will knock it out. Even though it's Assault Vest and I'm at minus one, I feel like from this range I can probably knock it out. I just don't feel like missing. Any damage is good damage. As they withdraw the Zacian. And this does mean I get a I get a tailwind on the next turn. Thunder. Ah, not quite. Okay, I do get paralysis though. Yeah, I just didn't feel like missing. So I I got real lucky there, but I do get a tailwind. So we'll we'll just take that. We'll take that free tailwind. Um. And does Thunder KO now? I just realized how little I did. I'll just hydro pump like I should have. Brain's probably sitting there like, dang, Moxie Boost is trash. He just thundered. <laughs> He's getting real unlucky this match. He's getting really unlucky. I feel like his play... I don't think he wins anymore is the thing, because I got decent damage off on Zacian. As he withdraws the Urshifu, okay. And he can't protect the Incineroar, nor can he fake out, because it is 100% Assault Vest, right? Get my Tailwind. If I connect this Hydro Pump, I think I'm in a winning position. Nice. I should have just Hydro Pumped from the start. Take some more Life Orb damage. Aurora Veil does wear off. Um, I think it's unlikely for him to... I, I feel like it's unlikely for him to go for anything. I think he's Choice Band Urshifu, just the way he's been playing it, because he could have protected the last turn, so I'm just going to Moonblast. But I feel like it's really unlikely he doesn't go for close combat into my uh, Arcanine, which I, I think my win con is just 
getting in Zamazenta after intimidating it. Like, that's definitely my win con here. Because there isn't much Zamazenta can... <laughs> there isn't much that Zacian can do to Zamazenta. I'm going to, like, struggle with that for the remainder of the season. Not that it's going to matter too much, because, like, I'm, like, one of four people using Zamazenta at the moment, but it will matter at some point. Okay, get the Intimidate off. There's the Sucker Punch. That looks Choice Banded. Yeah, okay. So I do knock it out. I don't think I can lose anymore. Yeah, especially if I start cycling. And I can just Will-O-Wisp since I'm faster. Under Tailwind, I mean. Uh, what I'll do here is I'll just hard switch out into Zamazenta and go for the Willow. And we do win game one. GG, sorry for luck. Alright, let's get one more. Hopefully one more. I don't want to lose. <laughs> let's get Brains card. Alright, play with the same rules. And let's try to play a bit better. I feel like... If he anticipated me going for the Protect, your lead card is mine now, he says. Okay. <laughs> this is for all those trash games of Among Us. I'm going to beat them. Alright. Game two. Participating team, LMAO. I could... I could go Clefairy Spectre, but it just doesn't feel good versus um, Thunderous. He's probably Life Orb Thunderous, so I, I could try to go for a Will-O-Wisp, but I definitely th feel like Arcanine is just better, you know? All right, um, we'll go with that, yeah. I was just thinking about what I was going to do in this match. Okay, so I want to go Lapras on lead again, but late game Lapras might not be bad. That's only with Tailwind though, right? Uh, nee, 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 Why am I thinking about the, um, Subspace Emissary song? I could go Spectre and try to will us but if I miss, I'm in huge, huge trouble. That's the biggest issue, right? I think I'm just going to go with the Lapras lead because it worked out so well last time. Just the exact same four. And just hope it works out. We're just going to hope it works out. Uh, maybe, maybe this time he'll expect me to call him on his fake out and my turn will be correct. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to tailwind this time. Him letting me get off a tailwind doesn't make sense. But if he's going to, if he's going to make the call that I'm going to protect, maybe I can make the call on him making the call that I'm going to make the call that he needs to fake me out. Hold on, I'm getting a call. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. Reggie Alecki and Filipin, Filipin, I can't say it. And I'm Mexican too, I should be able to pronounce words like this. Okay, so I feel like Electroweb makes a lot of sense here. It definitely would make a lot of sense, right? But I could also try to knock out the Arcanine immediately. Or not the Arcanine, but the Reggie Alecki. And I think I'm going to do that, I think I'm just going to do it. What I can do is go for a raw protect since nothing here wants to uh, Dynamax, I would assume. Depending on the set, I don't think anything wants to Dynamax, as I do get that right. I can just go for the raw protect and then this turn becomes a lot safer. Because he doesn't fake out at all, looks like he's going to snarl. Hmm. How can I do this? I should be able to take out the Reggie Alecki by going for max resonance and fake tears so no tailwind required probably so i'll fake tears here i think he's just going to get up a second screen if you electro webs that's big brain but i don't think it's worth it if you brought uh reggie Alecki this time i'm gonna assume he didn't bring thunderous 
So intimidating just got a lot easier, but there's no way he, he left home without Zacian. Get my fake tears off. Get my swag on like Soldier Boy did in 2011. Oh, tell me you didn't snarl. Tell me you fake tear. Or tell me you you U turned. Tell me you U turned, brother. Tell me you U turned. I really want to knock out this Aleki. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to see. How much damage will I do on you, Reggie Aleki? Will I knock you out? Who knows? Who knows? No, no one right now. He probably knows. He's probably like, yeah, I'm safe. I don't get knocked out. But who knows? <laughs> Zacian, okay. I mean, I can intimidate to live a behemoth blade behind resonance. Oh, we just barely miss it out, miss out on the uh, the knockout. Oh no, it's focus sash. Okay, so it's not light, it's not light clay, which is kind of nice. It's not light clay, which is kind of nice. That kind of would have been annoying. I mean, I can just geyser into Zacian. I'm not really scared. I can also fake tears geyser, but I think my play is max guard, fake tears, or I could tailwind too. Because I want to pressure Zacian really bad. I really want to pressure the Zacian. And if I make this call right, if they behemoth blade into my boy. I can pretty safely go for my Max Geyser into them and switch in my Arcanine to live the Behemoth Blade. And if I can keep my boy, if I can, if I can keep my boy Whimsicott, that wouldn't be bad either. Behemoth Blade? Fake Tears? See, I'm keeping up the pressure. I'm keeping up the pressure. That's what matters. There's the Volt Switch. But did you Blade, sir? But did you blade? Now clearly they can like fake out with their Incineroar, they can go for Snarl, whatever they want. But what's their Dynamax Pokemon? I forgot what else they had, I have to check. Oh, it's still there. Okay, that's 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 really scary actually. I don't like that. Okay, we get the protect. I think my play is to Geyser. I think he's gonna guard with his with his Thunderous is the thing. Cause that plus one, I think with the Tailwind I outspeed it. Cause it doesn't have any boosts. So I'm gonna try to knock out the Zacian. I I really don't see this thing. I I, I okay, cool. So I'm probably gonna get a lot of damage off on this boy. Let's see if he max guards with the uh, with the tornadoes. That'd be the good ending. <laughs> the good ending. Okay, he dynamaxes here. Hey, okay. All right, that's fine. I can actually save my Lapras is the best part. Max Geyser should be doing a solid chunk of damage. Oh yeah, that's just a KO. Did I crit? Because it is Assault Vest. Oh my god, I'm getting so lucky and I feel bad. I'm getting so lucky and I feel bad. <laughs> um... Tailwind is kind of huge here. I can't intimidate anything, right? But I can save the Lapras, which is really important. Does Behemoth Blade knock me out behind screens? Let me do some math. So Lapras is at minus one speed. I, I don't feel like doing math. 
Uh, I th I hope. <laughs> I hope I outspeed. Do I give up Lapras yet? I mean, they have a couple of things in the back. I think what I could do is just get pre-existing damage on this guy. And fake tears and hope that that works out. <laughs> I'm just going to do that. Zacian protects. That's huge. Does he go for his max move, or does he... Do I outspeed? That's the question. I don't know. I max speed Lapras, but I'm at minus one under Tailwind, so it's kind of... This is like... This was a this was a YOLO move. I will fully admit this was my YOLO move. The YOLO move paid off. I told you guys, my YOLO move was coming up right here, and the YOLO move paid off. Come on, baby. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I forgot the light screen. Zamazenta, can you uh, can you clean this up? Can you clean up my, my mess? My YOLO move did not pay off, and that was sad, because now he is at plus two. I think it's in my best interest to double into this thing. I think I'm just going to double into this thing, because he kind of has to choose who he's going to knock out, I think. I, I definitely made a big oops by forgetting about the light screen. That was a big oops. <laughs> Can I get more luck to bail me out, please? Can you KO? Please? Ah! <laughs> Dang it, no! It didn't KO! It didn't KO! Did he double? If he doubled, I think I might win. I think he doubled. And we live! And we live! That's the crazy part. Why is this thing just unkillable? On, dude, oh my god, that's crazy. That's what's insane about this guy. He's just crazy. I mean, I'm at such low health that I can't really securely do anything, but it's still cool that I lived. <laughs> kind of wish I was still running Heat Wave Arcanine. It would be really good here. I might be able to force something. Because I can go for a Protect on my Lapras, assuming they go for, like, an Electroweb. The station's at plus two speed, right? And I still have a turn of Tailwind. I should be faster than Regieleki with my Zamazenta. But that's not, like, great. <laughs> the position I'm finding myself in is not ideal. I think the way I get the most Intimidates off is by Protecting getting in Arcanine, and then cycling. And then I can, like, click Snarl to hit both of these things. <laughs> Not that the Snarl would matter. I need to, like, Flare Blitz that guy. There's an Intimidate. We lost our screens, by the way, so that's kind of huge. His Asian Protects, which is awesome. Regieleki Protects, which is awesome. Lapras protects, which, you know, that's that's whatever. <laughs> My tailwind's gone, which isn't awesome. Um, how do I do this? I think what I do is I switch out Zamazenta again and go... I, I can protect, is the thing. Since my protect went last, it technically failed. So I can protect and get in Zamazenta. I do have Wide Guard on it, but I don't think that's going to come into play here. Get my meaningless plus one defense. Since I'm definitely about to get like Electrowebbed or something. <laughs> There's the Sacred Sword to knock me out. 
I mean, this isn't unwinnable, but it's definitely not ideal. Light screen, okay. I mean, I have a minus one Zacian on the other side of the field that's running Sacred Sword, which means I should eat a hit. Oh my god. Guys, remember when I said that my Arcanine wasn't ready? I just realized I'm running Roar, not Protect. <laughs> it's supposed to be Protect. Why am I an idiot? Okay. Um, I freeze-dry the Regieleki. Oh, I'm, I'm missing Snarl. Why am I an idiot? Why am I, like, big stupid today? I'm gonna double down into the Regieleki. That's the most annoying thing in the field. There's the Volt Switch into the Lapras. I definitely don't live that. And I'm not running... I'm not running Barry is the, the annoying part. I'm running Safety Goggles. So this is going to be really close. I would need to connect my my Will-O-Wisp to win, I think. Because Sacred Sword is still doing a lot. And I'm going to take a lot of recoil. Let me think. So I have to do math now. <laughs> so Zacian's at minus one. And if I Will-O-Wisp, I'm cutting its attack in half even further, but I have to connect it. I think it's safer to Will-O-Wisp. I can't just Flare Blitz outright, especially since I messed up my Arcanine spread. Top 10 times I wish I was running Barry Arcanine. Number one. <laughs> okay, time to crit. Time to crit. Oh my god, why am I an idiot who can't EV Pokemon? All right, Arcanine, if there was ever a time to crit a move, it was now. Dang, okay. Maybe I should have just Flare Blitzed. I don't know if I would have lived, but... <laughs> eh, I, I think the Will-O-Wisp could have won me the game, but... Maybe I should have just Flare Blitzed. I had no idea I was doing that much. All right. GG. <laughs> just realized I'm running the wrong moves on arc which is not <laughs> pog but i'm gonna roll with it and okay <laughs> he said stop critting my pokemon i'll do my best i'll do my best not to crit maybe i can mess with uh i mean he, he brought thunderous right so how do I how do I deal with Thunderous in a way that isn't just leading with Lapras? Um I could go Zamazent to Spectre. I could do that, because Wide Guard prevents Electroweb. I'm gonna try it. And the Will O Wisp is really nice. Do I dare leave Arcanine at home? <laughs> I don't think I do, but. Because I definitely need Whimsicott. 100% need that. Lapras is still too good to pass up. Uh, maybe I'll just go like all out offense here. Let's just do it. Whatever. This is this is my first game in Series 8. We, we just got to practice. Maybe, maybe all out offense will work this time. Regieleki and Thunderous, I can I can live with that, I think. I can live with that, because I can wide guard and go for a Will-O-Wisp on this thing. That's kind of poggers. If I can burn this Thunderous, the only issue is it might be Lumberry. It has a pretty high chance of being Lumberry, considering everything I've seen so far, but I'm willing to go for it. Could be Goggles, too. Lumberry just makes more sense, though. Because we haven't seen Life Orb damage, right? Have we? I don't know. I'm, I'm inattentive. I will say that much. I'm very inattentive at Pokemon. As he switches out, am I going to catch the Zacian? I'm not. Alright. 
There's the light screen. He knows how much I love my he knows how much I love my special attackers in this game. Alright. Um likelihood of him going for snarl is really high, but he's also very likely just to go for a reflect. I think what I'm just gonna do. I think I'm just gonna knock out his um. I think I'm just gonna knock out his Incineroar, because he shouldn't fake out here. And it'd be really nice just to get that immediately. I think he's gonna go for a reflect. Volt switch? Okay, that's fine. Then I'm definitely knocking this thing out. I'm thinking close combat into Mud Shot should do it, but Mud Shot is really, really weak, so I have to keep that in mind. That's probably not in range. <laughs> I get an accuracy drop, though, which is kind of nice. Oh, a speed drop. My bad. I'm thinking of uh, a different move. Dang, this thing's just insane. All right. Snarl. Yeah. Yo! <laughs> Why am I the luckiest man alive at Pokemon? Why am I the luckiest man alive when it comes to this game? I did lose my defense, which is not very great. But Whimsicott looks pretty sick. Not gonna lie, Whimsicott looks pretty sick in this match. Um I could get plus one off of this guy, but I don't think it's worth it. I think I go for the Will-O-Wisp and switch in my my guy. Oh. I already switched it in. <laughs> yeah, I'll go for the Will O Wisp here. Maybe, maybe he won't be Lum. As they swap out, they're gonna be Lum. <laughs> they're definitely Lum. See what it goes for. I connect. Are you Lumberry, sir? Please do not be. That's just how it is. That's just that's just how it is. That's that's actually just how it is. Okay. <laughs> so Spectrier is gone. He is gone. Mm, time to do a speed calc. I don't even think that'll matter, actually, now that I think about it. I gotta be real careful here. Like, absurdly careful. Because I don't want to take... I don't want to take a hit here. Do I? Do I just Tailwind and try to KO? I don't think my play's Tailwind. I think my play's Fake Tears. Let me do a Speed Calc. Load extreme speed. All right, Lapras. Uh, Thirty-three seconds versus Thunderous in incarnate form. Max speed, neutral nature. At Tailwind. I can't. <laughs> I can't do that fast enough. Okay, let's just let's just yellow. Fake tears. G Max Resonance. I'm just gonna yellow it. <laughs> Let's see if I was right. Because for some reason, I think the app just kind of messed up midway through the calc. Because the number is not right. Fake tears. Because I can KO with this, right? It's just not going to be an enjoyable hit to eat. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get the prediction right again. Like I said, I'm YOLOing this. Airstream, you fool. Alright, I did not get the YOLO. 
<laughs> YOLO is never the way. Getting the Zamazenta, that is game. I definitely made an awful decision there. I definitely choked. Let me see if with the Tailwind I would have outsped. Thunderous, Incarnate Form, Positive Nature, plus one. I would not have outsped, so. Technically, the other play was better, but <laughs> I felt like yellowing. Tailwind. Can I, uh, can I crit a Behemoth Bash? That'd be pretty sick. The electro web. Max Knuckle. I think I live that funny enough. All right. Shield dog, do your thing. This is going to do, like, what, 30%? Oh, my God. Yeah, it was a little over 30. Light screen's gone. Check this out. Check this out. This isn't going to work out, by the way. <laughs> I'm still going to get outsped. I think. Actually, he hasn't airstreamed yet. I might actually outspeed that thing. But I don't think I win regardless. Does plus two timid moonblast KO? Will I even get to find out? Ah, they volt switched. Okay, <laughs> good game. Watch it be something that why would you be saying that Whimsicott unironically checks? Oh yeah, and Cinnara's still alive. That KOs. Alright, yeah. He said, good game. Send him a GG back. I need to stop, like, just YOLOing things in this format. But yeah, uh, like I said, Brain's a phenomenal player. And I didn't play the best. <laughs> My Arcanine was not the set I needed, but uh, I, I will put it more on me just playing poorly than the Arcanine or anything. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And yeah, answer the comment question of the day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.